Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we have a little bit of work to do on the 35. The 35 currently the lift will not go up when there's weight on it and that's near enough a sure telltale sign that our filter in there is blocked. So I'm just going to go around the other side and dip it for while I did put fresh oil in and just make sure it hasn't gone out of it. Yeah we have lots of oil, that doesn't look a nice colour either, lovely. So, it is, I was just actually, we done this job, I made a video of this, cleaning out the foil filter of this after 40 years. And it's three years ago since we done it. We done it, I uploaded the video the 9th of October, so it's done probably a few days before that. So this is the first time we've been back in this area since then. And because we want to have it on the yard scraper, um, we need to have it that can actually lift the yard scraper, which would be very handy. Quite literally, just to make sure, so I remember when we got the last time we opened the wrong side first, so it's the side with the gear lever on this variation of the 35. So I remember rightly from the other video, Father Phil said that it was the newer ones was in a different area, or maybe it was just the newer once again to the 100 series, like the 135. Maybe. But anyways, if you want to learn more, Father Phil was in that one. It's, I think Father Phil might come out, he might not, I don't know what he's doing. It. But anyways, so I'm going to rip off this here and get inside and drain the oil out of it too. Let's put in fresh oil, have a barrel of oil there, so it shouldn't take a lot. We get it, we get her opened up and get this filter out and see that hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. But yeah, I quite literally, to remember how to do this, I rewatched the video I put up from three years ago. So one of the benefits of uploading videos, but as with YouTube in general, there's not a lot that's not on YouTube, so it is quite handy for learning how to do bits and bobs with different things, literally anything. You think of it, someone has nearly done it on YouTube already. Anyways, rip off this cover. So, I have my drain plug is there. Let me bucket underneath the catcher. It's actually a five gallon drum, cut one end out of it. Works quite well. Opening this now. Let this good soup out. I'm expecting this to be the real bee's knees soup now. Hold up. Hey, that is creamy looking stuff. Look at that. That is usually, when it goes, oil goes creamy like that, that's usually a sign of water. I'll see the magnet on the end of it, which is for collect, collecting any metal wear. Ah, it. But yeah, that's water. How or where the water's getting in. So just wait for a second while this all comes out of it. So it's nearly out there now, I think. So what I'm going to do now, if I remember rightly, the last time we done it, we threw in a bit of diesel, slosh about and let it out just to try and get more of that good soup out. So I think I have some waste diesel here to come out of the tank of the 60 to 90 last year. So once that runs out to some extent, I'll put back in the drain plug turn away of this diesel and then just rock the tractor forward and back and give it a bit of a slosh about and lay hay out then as well. Just to try and clean out the inside somewhat. Yeah, that is good soup. So just ready to put in the diesel and just something to see the gears moving in there now when I move the that's reverse. First Having the light in the right spot is reverse, first, second, third. Pretty cool to see inside and see how you move them when you move the gear stick. Anyways, ready to put on some diesel. This is waste diesel. The dregs of a tank. Get the right spot to put in. Fill up a bit of stuff at the bottom at least. It's not going to wash all the gears down in that, but it'll get rid of some of the I don't want to see in there. And it's 
more good soup out. So while we're letting that drain out, we get to work opening. Get to work opening all these. So I already oh, cracked that one. I do want to say a big thank you to Midwest Electrical from Clear. They have helped us out kitting out the workshop with tools so far. And one of the things that we got off them is our Imperial Spanner set. So we have Imperial Spanners and Ring Spanners and using the Ring Spanner to make because it's quite handy. We also got sockets off them. But when you're working on old machines like this, Imperial is the way to go because they're all put together in Imperial. Odd sizes as I like to call them. But um, if you want to get some for yourself, you can head over to Midwest Electrical. I leave a link or that in the description down below. Fire through these. Shouldn't take too long. And because they're only open three years ago, they shouldn't be too bad. Anyways, that's the armature for moving the PTO, turning it on and off. So my filter is in here. There's the filter housing in there. You can see it there with the bit of wire. That's it there. Still is a bit of stuff in there now, but um I have got the most of it out. Yeah, it's not the color stuff you want to see inside your back end now, but what can you do? Anyways, get this filter on, see what it's like. Gonna require some nimble fingers, which mine are not nimble. Here's this bit of wire pulled out. So wing the on top. And that is why my lift isn't working. Look at the sh on it. Look at it. Just three years of dirt. How on earth that's getting into this? Because this tractor does, apart from scrape the yards now and pull the bidet harvester and do that bit of work now, it's not a lot. But that's a lot of dirt. Anyways, these filters are clean and washable. So, smart wash now. Put it back in. As mank. Absolutely mank. So, I just went in to consult with Father Phil. He's doing some research on the 1200s, these manuals and stuff there and looking at bits online. So I went in just to see what would I do about this filter. Just look at it. It is mank. Three years. and I wouldn't call a whole lot of work done. It's definitely water gone in. Where the water got in is beyond both of us because Apart from it's left outside on that occasion, it's normally kept inside and there's nothing open on top. So we're a bit of a loss as to why water seems to have got into it. But, um, and it's, it is full of little fine stuff as well. It's, yes, yeah, just mank. So I said to him about washing ice, he said, there's no point. So the filters aren't up too dear. Oop, there's the bottom off it. Uh, filters aren't too dear, so we'll just go and get a new one in the morning, stick it back in it, fill her up with oil, and away she goes for another while. But um, yeah, just confused as to where the water's getting in. I have to do a bit of rooting on that another day, but if we get her back going, we can get her back on the yard scraper. It's just handy on the yard scraper, on it all the time. You just jump on it when you need it. 
But anyways, oh, so that's me for tonight. So I'm gonna leave her draining out for the rest of the night. I might, if I can find the jack, I'll jack up the front. Cause the plug is at the back of the tractor. Turn it up. Is at the back of the casting. So if I jack up the front, that's gonna make all the oil to towards the back and get more of it out of it. So more in how that the better. Yeah, nasty looking stuff. But um yeah, so we'll pick it up again in the morning and put the new filter in it. Fresh oil. We'll air back out of the shed and back onto the yard scrap. So it's the next morning. Father Phil called up to Johnston's in town. Got the new filter. 30 euro for the filter, so can't complain. And this is it. Two o rings in it. So you just have to give the filter housings a bit of a wash off. That's the new filter. That's the old one. No, I left this on the seat, that's just a bit of straw on it, but that's the difference. So anyways, well, we bang this together again, head back into this tractor and get our filled up with oil and out of the shed. And that should be that. Oh, just wash these two bits of the filter housing and um, get it all put back together. I have everything cleaned out, ready to go. So this one goes in there. Doesn't it? I have to double check now. Let's clean that one out first, yes. That one goes in there. That goes like that. That goes like that. And then that just screws in. Happy days. Filters back together. Stick it in, screw it in. And also, I'm charging the battery on this at the minute while I had it in here. So, should be ready to go when I get out. So yeah, fire this filter back in there. That one there, that goes through the, the step, in through it all, pain in the hole getting on. I was half an hour at it, Liv come, just passed by to give me a hand. First try, in it went, got a twist on it. Bit of help. So anyways, I go put the rest of these in, we fill her up with oil, we get her out of the shed. Also, the clutch came. So, we have a refurbished clutch is in here. Uh, Father Phil dropped it down to leak slip to get re redone and it's after coming up there now so now we have the clutch to go back in it so happy days i know it was very quick and then um, father phil sent off the oh i'm trying to think of it is it the flywheel maybe it's not the flywheel but he sent off part of it that had some wear in it where the clutch wears again it to get re-skimmed leave a nice flat smooth surface to go back to but anyways get this all tightened up happy days last little drop of oil going in and that should be her good. No. We only ever hand tighten them. I have a royal. Happy days. So now, that's our ready to come out workshop. So, I'll just disconnect my battery there and we'll start her up. We'll see the lift goes up and down. Happy out. Happy out. Put away all my tools too. We see the lift working, get her out of the shed because we're going blasting later on today. So better get ready for that. Yeah. We tidy up. Oh, I see the lift works. So all is put back together now. So. so lift. It's working anyways. So, just once we get script around, see that that's working. Lift is going up and down there. So that's that solved. Happy days, happy days. Now, she's my her. 
bringing it back into the yard but that's really it there's not much more to say for today's video and for the 35 bags so anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck